Bradley. What's going on, buddy? Well, we got Bentley, and we are gonna go do some flying. We're gonna try our first live. Is that what? Peter McKinnon? Who is this? Peter. Pete. Pete. Pete McKinnon. Oh, what? were you just no, doing I some think. epic B-roll? Did this just happen? Now? What's going on? Dude, 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 Yo, dude, dude you so getting tired dude. of the car? Uh, yeah, the bike? Shooting some B-roll oh, of the uh, the bikes here. Slow mo. Yeah. Oh, you should go flying. Guy. Let's do it. You wanna come? We're gonna go. Do I wanna come in? Let's do it. Oh. Hey, Ben. We're going. Oh, on, yes, buddy. Thank you. Just, let me just cancel my dinner. We yeah. actually met Peter in Ireland. That's so crazy. And we run into him here. What were you doing here? I was just shooting some B-roll. Oh, uh, classic Pete. Yeah. Classic Pete. <laughs> Gotta get that B-roll. Yeah. Right? Okay, so uh, we're here at Bradley's new apartment, and Pete was just giving us some spin pointers. Spin tips. Super, super dope spin tips. What should we do? So here's a uh, here's a quick tip from Peter McKinnon. All right, if you're gonna do the spin, the spin transition, as I like to call it, I like to go downwards, but the key is reacting to it physically, not just when you're doing the edit. Boom. So you gotta, uh, you gotta. Should we try it? Physically yeah, act. let's do it. Okay, ready? Three? Uh. <laughs> okay, ready? I don't know how to do it. Uh. Uh. Come yeah. on. Sorry, right man. in the face, man. I'm so just, sorry. Oh, we're gonna have to work on those. Peter just taught us them today. They're not working. We're gonna take Bentley up. We're gonna take Peter up. We're gonna do our first YouTube live stream. So hopefully you watched it because this will be happening after. And then we're gonna go land in the mountains and let Peter fly a drone around for a little bit. Let's start her up. Should be fun. Hey Brad, who's your favorite YouTuber? Self-love? Yeah. I've been watching Peter McKinnon lately, but I just don't know if he has it to like make it big. Ah. Uh, I don't know if he's I, got Oh hey Pete. What I, what I like about I didn't, him is he's got see a personality, there. but he just doesn't have a lot of depth. You should be time lapsing the sky right now with your camera, Peter. I know. Are you, are you telling uh, Pete what to do with his camera, Brad? Yeah. Brad can't even figure out how to use a point and shoot and he's trying to tell you what to do. <laughs> Just finished up flying the drone. Now we're headed back to the helicopter. Go back to Vancouver, eat some ramen, and drink some beer. That was really fun. This is gorgeous up here. Okay, Bradley, what's going on? You got 10 seconds to us. Going camping on top of a mountain. We're taking Peter McKinnon with us, and he's totally not ready. Ooh, and, there's a, screen. and there's a good chance he's not gonna make it. Oh, three on two. One, two, three. Yeah. How's she looking? Looks like home. Uh oh. Uh, what do you think, Peter? Are you cold? You're from Toronto, bud. Where are we going, Pete? Where are we going? We're going to the ice cave! Nice! Hey. Bradley, what's going on here? We're going to an ice cave! Sing me the ice cave with song! Peter McKinnon! Sing going, me the ice cave song! Going to the ice cave with Peter McKinnon! McKinnon. You guys altered the song for me. Yeah, that's what we do. People, but <laughs> We're about experiences. Thank you. Making people feel special. Yeah. I love how the footage from this clip is going to be like. I know. Try vlogging in this with a 1DX. Let's say this is going to be your home and you want to live in an ice cave. You get a sunroof. He's not coming. He's not. He doesn't listen. Get over here! Get over here right now! Good boy! Good boy! Get over here! Good boy! Get Come here. here! Get in there! Get in there! Remember that time that I was like, Peter? This is why. What do you think so far? It's the best thing I've ever seen, ever. It's incredible, eh? <laughs> what? 
Get over there. Okay, current situation. We're in an ice cave, Peter's taking shots, and I got his drone. I said, hey, Pete, you want me to fly your drone in the ice cave? He said, yeah, please don't crash it. I'm gonna do my best not to, but we're in a freaking ice cave. Wish me luck. I just successfully flew Peter McKinnon's drone up through that hole. Problem was, I wasn't recording. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Pedro, how was that? Oh, so, like, so good. That was epic. So good. Use that, more that, words. Use words you know. I just, I don't have any words. It was just so good that there aren't words that depict it properly. You I'll use a word for him. Epic. Oh, you already used that word, like, it's ten times. Epic isn't <laughs> even good enough. That epic was, isn't even good enough. Epic Whoa. is like this. Yeah. That was yeah. just like straight savage lit, all those like trendy words. All right, pro tip when you're doing this, you don't want to sweat, so you'd rather be a little bit too cold. So get your top layers off when you start feeling you're getting warm, put them back on when you're done. Status update tents up, gonna start working on fire next. We're gonna make it. We are gonna make it. Rory, <laughs> how much cheese do you think you've eaten tonight? Yeah, at least a half block. <laughs> like a solid. Solid half block. That's why he's sleeping outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peter? How much cheese you eaten tonight? I had one baby bell. Mm. Wait, what's the coolest thing you've ever seen anyone do to a baby bell? Roast it on a stick like a G. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Pete, what's going on right now, buddy? Alright, we're waiting for our our food to heat up in these military grade bags and whilst said food is heating I'm waiting for this freaking photo of mine to process it took it like an hour ago it's been processing for like half an hour it's killing that vlog life oh it's just I haven't vlogged anything because as you can see here it's still processing Rory's been eating he's been competing <laughs> with the mouse it's been living in the teepee uh, for what's been left here <laughs> And uh, it seems like they're equal. The mouses might be a little bit ahead, but Rory's catching up quick. It's incredible. <laughs> it's like, wait car. till my friends at home hear about this shit. Look at all this car. <laughs> so who are you talking about, Rory? My wing mouse. <laughs> so he helps you pick up chicks or what? Well, no, he more just flies with me. Oh. He was flying with him. <laughs> He chewed through his magneto, and then <laughs> <laughs> he chewed my magneto, and now he hangs out up here, little bastard. Mice is a big, they're big problems, man. For planes? For everything. I, I, I got mice in my hangar. Mice in my land is like, when I bought that land, it's filled with mice, man. There's an old shed and a camper on it that were like completely filled. And now I, I, I just kill mice. Oh. Like all day long. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So what did you say you've killed in your life? I killed more golfers than mice, but I killed a lot of mice. Hundred? Two hundred? I'd say I'm getting close to like ten thousand. Come on! <laughs> I don't know, man. Did my whole life it's been my job to get the mice, man. Did you burn a burn down or something like? Oh, lock yeah, all yeah, I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of mouse trapping, mouse shooting, mouse hunting, man. Mouse not 10,000, but more than a thousand. Guaranteed I've killed more than a thousand mice, which sucks to say, it's like those poor mice, man. Have you stabbed a mouse? Yeah. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've stabbed a mouse with? A gentle stick. <laughs> <laughs> Have you eaten a mouse? No. No, I've never ate a mouse. But I would if I was hungry. I figure you'd live on mice. Well, are you still busy? Yeah, I'm debating whether it's just... No, just leave it, man. It'll be worth it. I don't know. Yours finished like an hour ago. Ooh, it did. That was a good pace. 70 oh. minutes ago. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! The Whoa. moment! The moment! That was... Oh, look when at it that. it happens, it happens, That's man. pretty good. Show me, Pete. Oh, ho. Oh! 
Oh, it was so worth it. Good. Show me, show me, show me, show me. Oh I yeah. I can't believe that one little headlamp. Oh, that looks sick. Through that much light. Okay, so we just finished dinner. Um, we're gonna do our, our out of ten. Yeah, out of ten. Give it a rate, Pete. You first. Um, you know, I'd photo. say seven. A really? solid, a solid, satisfying seven. Yeah, it wasn't like as bland as I thought it would be. I'm full. It was warm. It's pretty easy to make. I'm a happy camper. I'm gonna give it a, a five. Ride with the uh, five out of ten. Chicken and rice. Chicken and rice. Solid five out of ten. Maybe even four. It was pretty bland. Would but not try again. I wouldn't recommend it personally. There's well, I'll a lot tell of you what flavors. you should try is a half block of cheese that I found the TP. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with seven out of ten as well. Lasagna was uh, was a strong seven. Filling, pretty tasty. It was, it was nice, pleasant surprise. Rory, what would you give your cheese? That's a 10 out of 10 cheese. <laughs> there's, there's a reason there was a big honk gone from that mouse. <laughs> <laughs> How's your sleep? Good morning. You guys want to try this bucket out? Good morning, Rory Bushfield. Welcome to the glacier, guys. It's a beautiful day up here. It's about five degrees and the uh, sun's going to be out today. <laughs> what a guy. How's your sleep? Pretty decent. Status update. We're alive. Pete and I just woke up. Rory's, Rory's showing signs of life. Bradley's sleeping. It's a beautiful day out here. And we missed the sunrise. <laughs> we didn't miss it. I mean, you woke up for it. And we're like, ready? And we just both went back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, no. <laughs> Couldn't make it happen. Okay, so now we're going to clean up and then get out of here. Oh, then to the airport. Then to the airport. What's going on, boys? Just packing up. Unbelievable day. Had a great night. Last night was absolutely incredible. The stars were ridiculous. I, I haven't seen stars like that in like 14 years, so the, mind blown. The Milky Way. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, pretty cool. Yeah. You, naked eye. You know, you see a picture and you're like, oh man, that's all Photoshop. Some like, NASA. Naked eye. Yeah. You could look up and you could just see it. It was unfreaking believable. Just long exposures all night. Super, super incredible. And now we're just packing up all our stuff to, to go home. Are you coming back? 100% October. Boom. Nice. Tell all your friends. Oh, how do we, we keep missing that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, tell the world. Yeah, you guys gotta come see him. It's rich. Uh, just look at the photos. That's, that should be enough. That was, convincing. That was our time with Peter McKinnon. I'm wearing the same clothes as yesterday, so oh I'm ready to get home. Okay, see ya.